Good morning. My name is Nana Basin. I'm the Chief Business Officer of Insoma, um, and really thrilled to be able to see all of you um, in person. All of us as a community are united in our pursuit of bringing transformative therapies to patients in need, and all of us are standing on the shoulders of giants that have come before us in the gene and cell therapy space. Our deeper understanding of biology has revealed complex cellular control networks that go awry in disease. This complexity means that in order for gene therapy to be truly effective, our, our therapies need to be multifunctional with new levels of controllability. Existing approaches have lacked the capacity to deliver these features in vivo until now. Maybe it'll forward. <laughs> Can I get some help? And in SOMA, we believe the future of medicine lies within us. Our platform is the first to develop one-time in vivo treatments that precisely engineer any cell of the hematopoietic system to cure diseases from within. We launched out of stealth earlier this year with a $70 million Series A and $1.25 billion collaboration with Takeda focused on rare diseases. Our top tier syndicate was led by 5AM Ventures and positions us for long-term success and our collaboration is off to a great start. As some of you may have heard, um, we're thrilled to welcome Emil Neuacer as our new president and CEO. Emil takes the helm from our founding CEO, Kush Parmar, and executive chairman, Paula Sadaropoulos. I don't think Emil needs much of an introduction uh, for this crowd. Um, I think this morning everyone could see um, his passion and his deep expertise that he brings in gene and cell therapies. A hallmark of, of Emil's career has been going after BHAGs, big, hairy, audacious goals, and Insoma is no, is no exception. Um, Emil and I are joined here at Mesa 21 by our colleague Dan LeBlanc, our chief technology officer, who brings over 20 years of pharmaceutical development and technical operations expertise. Unfortunately, our CSO, Rob Peters, couldn't join us uh, this morning, or this week, rather, um, but he also brings deep R&D expertise, um, particularly in rare blood disorders. We have assembled an amazing team, nearly 50 strong, with ex expertise that spans across multiple disciplines. Our platform is built on 20 plus years of academic and clinical research spearheaded by Hans-Peter Kiem at the Fred Hutch and Andre Lieber at the University of Washington School of Medicine. Hans Peter, I think many of you know, um, is an oncologist and world-renowned pioneer in stem cell and gene therapies. He's currently the president-elect of ASGCT. Andre has studied biological and translational aspects of human adenovirus for over two decades. We wouldn't be here without their dedication and perseverance. We've also had the opportunity to assemble a very strong scientific advisory board made up of experts that span HSC transplantation, blood disorders, primary immunodeficiencies, cancer cell therapies, and vectorology. A key element of our platform is our vector, which solves major limitations of in vivo delivery. Our vectors are proprietary, third-generation, gutless adenoviral vectors, which contain no viral genome, have low immunogenicity, and a capsid with low seroprevalence. 35 KB packaging capacity affords us unprecedented versatility. Our vectors are compatible with all gene modification tools, which enables multiplex editing, incorporation of large genetic circuits, or uh, regulatory elements for precise in vivo engineering. We can selectively target any or all blood um, or immune cells, including long-term HSCs. Our ability to incorporate cell-specific promoter, promoters further enhances um, our ability to target and control. We have an opportunity to tailor our approach for the disease that we'd like to address. These approaches may include gene correction, utilizing cells as protein factories, delivering vectorized antibodies, um, or engineering immunotherapies. 
for the first time, in vivo gene therapy can take advantage of systems biology, understanding of disease, without being limited by size or gene modification tool. HSCs give rise to the most powerful, far-reaching cells in the body, and our approach can harness any or all of these lineages to address hundreds of diseases. This is a huge opportunity to dramatically expand the reach of genomic medicine. So how does it all work? Hans, Peter, and Andre developed a very elegant approach. First, HSCs are mobilized to the periphery um, using clinically validated regimens and no requirement for conditioning. Our vectors are systemically administered one time, cells are transduced while in circulation and home back to the marrow. The, our capacity affords us the ability to include in our payloads a selection cassette, which gives us the ability to titrate response needed for the disease and for the patient without the need to redose. All of this takes place in an outpatient setting and is off the shelf. So that means no myeloablation, no cell extraction, no specialty center, and no donor is required. This greatly reduces patient burden, and as we heard this morning in the plenary, greatly expands the ability for patients to access our therapies. A significant amount of data has already been, um, has already provided compelling proof of principle for us. No liver toxicity is observed after IV injection of our vectors. On the left, you can see little to no hepatocyte transduction is observed in our vectors compared to an ad, an ad 5 vector. Liver enzymes, ALT and AST, remain in normal ranges in both mouse and in NHP studies. In comparison, AAV can result in significant spikes, spikes in, liver en, in liver enzymes above normal well above normal. In vivo selection effectively boosts engraftment of marked HSCs in mice. In, this, in these experiments, payload included a GFP reporter as well as our selection cassette. On the left, you can see three rounds of selection resulting in a significant increase in GFP expression. On the right, you can see GFP expression in multiple HSC cell lineages, including T cells, B cells, and those of the erythroid lineage. We also have been able to um, achieve therapeutic correction in multiple mouse models. On the left, four rounds of selection resulted in broadening of the therapeutic window in a thalassemia mouse model. A picture is worth a thousand words, and in the middle panel, um, you can clearly see phenotypic correction of sickle, sickle cell disease in a Towns model mouse. On the right, our payload remains the same with the exception of a, trans, of a change in transgene. In this case, factor eight was swapped in for gamma globin that was used uh, on the left panel for the thalassemia work. You can see therapeutic levels of factor eight have been achieved along with fully restored physiological response. This data also validates a protein factory approach for cells of the erythroid lineage. We also, have been able to achieve uh, proof of concept with multiplexing. Combining both gene knockdown and insertion in a 20 KB payload success, uh, successfully boosts efficacy in a town sickle cell disease model compared to knockdown or insertion alone. You can see uh, in the middle and far right panels that both that the uh, blood hematology and spleen sizes are fully restored as well. Our platform allows us to pursue both rare monogenic diseases as well as prevalent polygenic diseases. Our first in human indication, uh, which we're not disclosing at this time, builds upon validation with ex vivo HSC transplantation. Our ability to specifically target HSCs allows us to leapfrog early ex vivo successes in rare blood disorders. 
Proof of concept with our protein factory approach allows high protein level delivery required for a variety of diseases, both rare and broad. And our ability to multiplex cell specific promoters and gene regulatory elements opens up limitless possibilities in IO and other immune mediated diseases. Ingenious finally takes all of the modern tools and advancements in gene and cell therapy and actually delivers them in vivo to usher in a new standard for versatile cell programming and control for hundreds of diseases. Our team and collaborators have the passion and commitment to bring this bold global vision for gene therapy to life. We are um, actively uh, interested in pursuing partnerships um, involving genome modification technologies and gene expression regulation technologies. So see a lot of, a lot of faces in the, in the audience. If any of you are working on the, in these areas, Emil, Dan, and I would be more than happy to, to meet you um, over the course of the next few days. Um, and with that, um, I, I thank you very much for your time and am more than happy to, t to take any questions. Tough crowd. Well, thank you very, very much. I look forward to meeting you.